For a couple weeks back in 2015, a nerdy looking white dude named Slim Jesus was the hottest rapper in the drill game. He was strapped up and rapping about blowing down the ops, and nobody knew if it was real or fake. But he killed his own career as soon as it started and went from getting co-signs from real Chicago drill rappers to getting clowned everywhere he went and embarrassed on stage. This is the crazy story of how it all went down. Slim Jesus came up in Hamilton, Ohio, a small town with around 60,000 people. Not much is known about his early life, but it's safe to say that he wasn't ducking drive-bys and smoking ops on the way to school. Slim got into music at a young age, but he didn't start seriously rapping until a few months before he dropped Drill Time. Even though he came up in a quiet town like Hamilton, he was tapped in with the Chicago drill scene and was a big fan of dudes like G Herbo and King Yella. So when he decided to hop in the booth, Slim wanted to rap like his favorite drill artist. Drill Time was the first video he ever made, and Slim never expected it to blow up like it did. He recorded a video for the track with a bunch of his homies from Hamilton, and it turns out that he was the only one over 18 years old in the crew. The video racked up around 4,000 views in the first day, and Slim said that even those numbers are crazy to him. What happened next was way more surprising though. A website called Bossit posted a video, and that's when everything changed for Slim Jesus. After Bossit posted it, Drill Time went viral on Twitter and started racking up hundreds of thousands of views. Lil Bibby tweeted the track and got even more eyes on Slim Jesus, Amber Rose hopped in and said she'd been dancing to the track all day, and Diddy tweeted that he had a mill for Slim waiting for him at Bad Boy Records. A lot of people were really rocking with the track, but there was also a ton of comments wondering why a skinny white kid from a random town in Ohio was jacking the drill movement. A big reason the track popped off was because of what Slim looked like. People online were comparing him to Caillou and Dewey from Malcolm in the Middle, but he was spitting bars like, I f with savages. You a f boy, you can't hang. You can find me posted up on Frank Block with my fing gang. You ain't really about shit, stay out my spot, don't speak my name. Or I'll pull up on your block at night wearing all black and let that 40 bang. People were torn trying to decide if Slim Jesus was a real savage or not. Some thought he was really about that life, but a lot of people were calling him out as a culture vulture. At the end of the day, though, it didn't really matter because Drill Time was running up millions of views on YouTube and Slim Jesus' name was everywhere. King Yella even reached out and linked up for a collab. Slim, Yella, P. Rico, and Killer Kells all hop on the Drill Time remix, which racked up millions of views. Slim even flew out to LA and opened up for Chief Keef. Overnight, he went from a kid in the suburbs to flying across the country and rapping with legends in the drill game. Slim was popping off and getting cosigns from all kinds of established artists. It looked like he had a chance in the industry, but then everything fell apart as fast as it started. Slim did an interview with DJ Vlad and ended up throwing everything away. Usually, doing interviews is good for new artists in the game. It lets fans know a bit more about who they're listening to and gets more eyes on lesser known names. But when Slim talks to DJ Vlad, he pulled back the curtains and let everyone know that the haters were right. All of his raps was cap, and Slim was just talking about guns and ops to sound cool. When Vlad asked him about how involved he really was with the streets, Slim told him straight up, I mean, I haven't like, I'm not out here catching bodies and shit, obviously. Like, I'm f***ing smart. According to Slim, For the most part on the street shit, like, I got homies that are in that shit, and I know people who are, and people around me. He said nobody would pay attention if he rapped about riding around in the car listening to country music. So instead, he dropped lines like, I got loud pack, I got school buses, hurry up fam, come and shop. I got a big 40 with a 30 clip, and I call that my f***ing mop. After Slim admitted to putting up a fake image, a lot of people immediately stopped rocking with him. There's a lot of rappers who talk about things in their music that never happened, but Slim was the first one who just straight up admitted to capping for clout. A lot of legit artists started sending diss tracks after the Vlad interview. AOKD dropped the track Slim Jesus where he rapped, Slim Jesus, n you ain't a drill rapper. 60 Justin Bieber, n fake ass Slim Shady, who the f you killing? Lil Mister and Big Boss Dama both sent shots, and then a 16 year old Chicago drill rapper named Lil Mouse dropped Kill Time and said, you did a song with n from here, real talk, they ain't on shit. You trying to get street cred, real G's catch them, get the whole clip. I'm gonna show you how to drill time. My brother Sly when it's kill time. Mouse told DJ Vlad, Nah, it ain't a diss, it's just me staying facts, like. But then doubled down and sent more shots on the track Nail Him To The Cross. On the track, he rapped, Bums, they do anything for clout. We know where you be, so Yella, watch your mouth. He said he Jesus, time to nail him with the hammer. If we wanted to, we could have caught you in Atlanta. Mouse took a shot at King Yella for linking up with Slim Jesus, but by that point, they weren't even talking anymore. After they collab on the Drill Time remix and racked up millions of views, it seemed like it would make sense for Slim and Yella to keep working together. But Yella told DJ Vlad that Slim basically ghosted him and wouldn't call back. When Vlad asked Slim about the situation, he said he still had a lot of respect for Yella, but it was just a business thing. According to him, there was a lot of people when we did the remix or whatever coming like 
that I was doing songs with them and then I went out to the Keefe show. And so there was a lot of like opposition talk, you know, that I was with them and then I'm with them. I make music and I think, you know, if you're a dope artist, I'll work with you. I'm not on some gang opposition, blah, blah, blah. But after Slim told Vlad he wasn't really about that life, Keefe hopped on Twitter to put some distance between them. A picture had been going around of the two of them together and Keefe tweeted, all the blogs, stop saying goofy shit. Just cause you saw a picture. Lil homie just wanted to pick. Can't say no. And then, no, I don't f with short. I ain't co-signing shit. Slim Jesus was getting dragged like crazy online, and it only got worse for him when the video came out showing him getting his mic snatched on stage. Slim was performing a set in Ottawa when a DJ named Black Jesus cut the beat and ripped the microphone out of Slim's hand. He told the crowd, Support real hip hop. Then dropped the mic and walked off. Even though Slim was basically a joke by that point, some people in the industry were still rocking with him. Montana 300 tweeted that a collab was on the way, and he told DJ Vlad, They can say, I pulled this out and shot this man. Do I know if he did that for sure or not? No, I don't. He could be lying. And he actually respected Slim for being straight up about it. What's wild is that Slim Jesus could have had a successful career even with all the hate, but he just kept fumbling the bag. According to King Yella, Birdman wanted to fly Slim out to Miami to talk about signing with him, but Slim literally hung up the phone on him. And a few months after Montana tweeted about linking up with him, he revealed that Slim never got back in touch with him and they didn't make a track together. Another thing that hurt his career was how Slim didn't ride the momentum he had with Drill Time. He dropped a few more videos that did decent numbers, but then he took his foot off the gas and the spotlight moved on. Last year, he dropped his first video since 2017 and racked up over half a million views. But since then, he's been completely quiet. There's a chance he could come back and start running up numbers again if he was more consistent. But it seems like Slim doesn't really want to make it in the game. Slim Jesus blew up as a joke, but he still had the chance to sign a big deal and take his career far. Even after he admitted to capping about his lifestyle in the music, people still tapped in for basically everything he did. But instead of staying on the grind and grabbing more headlines, he threw it all away and only had his 15 minutes of fame.